we just arrived to this unexplored wilderness battleground. Germans, Finns were fighting here. No metal detectorists have set their coils on the ground here before us. I really hope we don't die. I feel like I'm ready to go. Ah, uh, me too, me too. I'm just gonna finish up this water. I think I got them all. The best thing about Lapland is that the sun does not go down in winter. So all night we're gonna hunt for those German helmets, Panzerfaust. The Finnish and German troops have been fighting all over. And what could we find here? I can feel it. It's 1944. I found my first bullet. I think this one is one of the, from the German rifles. The Germans were attacking from there, Finns were defending here, and this was aiming for the head of a Finnish soldier. He must have been somewhere here, and it means we are on the right spot. Let's keep digging, yo. Yes. Let's keep digging. This find is not 1944, but it's a recently deceased reindeer. You could make a very nice handle for a knife out of this. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, reindeer horns. These are used when you powder them down. Medication that improves your sex drive. I'm gonna keep this one. Just bullets so far, but we're at the right spot, yeah. Yes, we are. I think we're in the place where the Germans have stood some time. So it would have been like that then. <laughs> would have exploded and pieces would be shattered all around here. Hopefully no Finn died from this. Good morning. It is 7 a.m. and it's time to get to work. Lots of casings here and it's evidence of a battle and a war that not many people know about. It's the Lapland War. The Lapland War was a war between Finns and Germans. When Finland made peace with the Soviet Union, one of the conditions in the peace treaty was that all German troops had to leave Finland and that meant that the Finnish guys had to chase them out. Here we have a natural choke point. One swamp to the right, one to the left and a small path in the middle. And what do we find here? I think the soldiers must have been rushing through here. If they were dropping stuff like that. That's a nice button. Oh my god. Is it Finnish? Or is it German? Any swastikas on it? I brushed it and it looks like the one side is completely worn. I'm thinking it's from a German Lederhosen. I found two bullet casings here. I think they are from a rifle. It means that someone has been shooting here across the swamp at the troops on the other side of the lake. It says BPT 663. I'm not a military geek, so I don't know. And I will show you exactly how it happened. 75 years ago. Take game. I think the second shot hit him. Job well done. Cloud berries. Yummy. Yummy. Ripe and nice. Mm. Best battlefield I have ever been to. The German troops retreated all the way to Norway, being chased by the Finns. While retreating, the Germans 
destroyed bridges, laid out mines, stalled the Finns, and were uh, fighting rear guard action in order to slow the Finns down so they had time to evacuate all the troops, the tanks, the armor, the material, the ammunition. And that's the reason why we're here in the middle of the forest in the wilderness in northern Finland today looking for stuff the troops left behind. This would be the perfect foxhole for a soldier. You can really get down here and observe the whole battlefield and fire your gun. So I'm gonna look around here, I'm sure I'm gonna find something. Nothing there at the bottom, but I'll find something eventually soon. Oh, I almost tripped and died. It's dangerous this. Oh, we got something here. There's been a German in this hole. But what did he drop here? What did he drop here? What did he drop? Oh, I got it. Right there. Oh, sweet lord, that's an intact bullet. Oh yeah, this guy has never been fired. Look, we got the casing, we got the bullet part. He has been sitting in the foxhole, stashing his bullets here to the side, getting ready for when the enemy comes so that he can quickly put them in the, in the rifle. And, and he forgot one. Maybe he got chased away really quick. He dropped his pants and started running, probably when he saw the fins advancing. Nice. First complete bullet. I got a signal here underneath the rock. I love this place. I think this is a defense line with some makeshift shelters here from the foxhole just 10 meters there where we found the cartridge. But now who hit something there and why? Let's find out. Two Vikings. We go into dark holes and other weird places. Uh, I can't get a signal with my pinpointer, so I don't think there's anything there. Maybe it was just the rock that was magnetic. Probably. Sometimes we're not so smart here on True Viking. But was a fun, fun little search. Get a good signal there? Yes, actually pretty good. Down in the fox hole. One of the best ones today, this is interesting. You can see some of the original wood there to the to the left of the old rubber boots. I have a feeling that someone left their helmet, helmet. here in the fox hole. The fox hole. I don't know why I say fox hole all the time. Fox hole. But <laughs> I have been too long in the forest. Yeah, let's still drive. <coughs> Swallowing bullet. Bullet. <laughs> bullet again. Oh man. Uh, and I have eaten at least 100 mosquitoes today. <laughs> oh, yeah, the troops here in the foxholes, they have had time to have a little bit of uh, smoked herring snacks. Found a tin can, I don't know, maybe meat, maybe fish, I can't, no, fish, definitely fish. Cool, here they left it, but there's only half of it. I wonder what they did with the other part. Maybe it's somewhere around. Okay, let's continue. There's so many nice fox holes here. They have had a whole defense line here. Here's another, gra another guy. Great example. Someone has been rolling the boulders here and look what a pretty place this would have been. Someone put a lot of sweat into this hole 75 years ago. But uh, let's see if I can find something around here. Oh, we got something. We got something in the hole. Look at that. Ain't that a beauty. Big rifle cartridge cool in the foxhole 
someone forgot it here. There's another beautiful hole. Beautiful, beautiful. This is my favorite pothole so far. Made out of nice sturdy stones, good visibility. This might be for an officer. No, an officer is with a Luger. Like. <laughs> and talking about officers, guess what I found? I just dug up a 9mm small bullet. So this could actually be from a Luger pistol or from a machine and pistol for the submachine gun. That I think they use these kinds of bullets, you know, the small ones. Right? We're getting close to the honey hole. This will be the last find of the day and it's an exceptional signal. So thank you guys for watching and as always I will see you again in next week's video but let's find out what kind of treasure we got here and it's a 9mm bullet but a beautiful one. See you next week, thanks for watching, true vikings over and out.